the Seligman subdivision is probably one of the coolest subdivisions I have ever been to. The subdivision starts in the desert and goes through forest in the same subdivision. Along with that, at Williams Junction, the line branches off to the Phoenix subdivision. Along the Phoenix subdivision up a little ways in Williams, Arizona, you can find the Grand Canyon Railroad, which runs daily trains from Grand Canyon to Williams, Arizona. In November of 2021, my family and I went over to the Grand Canyon, and coincidentally, all of our hotels were right next to the tracks. So I took advantage of this by walking down over the tracks every morning or afternoon to try and catch some trains. I was successful in this quest, and I was able to film a few trains on the Seligman Sub and a few trains on the Grand Canyon Railway, coming in and out of Grand Canyon. It's November 2021 in Grand Canyon, Arizona, and after eating a good lunch, I decided to go down to the tracks. At the tracks awaiting me is Grand Canyon number 239. 239 is an ex-Amtrak F40PH, now an F40FH that works on the Grand Canyon Railroad. Accompanying number 239 is Grand Canyon 4124. 4124 is an ex-New Jersey Transit locomotive also an F40PH that was rebuilt into an F40FH. Soon it was time for Grand Canyon 239 to leave to bring back the passengers from their vacation in the Grand Canyon back into Williams. The entire consist of the train consists of 1250s era passenger cars, along with four dome cars. These cars allow passengers to walk up to the dome and see a 360 degree view of the world around them. The next morning I walk over to the tracks to catch the eastbound Grand Canyon Special from Williams arriving in Grand Canyon, led by the same exact consist. Yet again the next day, I walk down over to the tracks to catch the same train, except now the light is a lot more overcasty, and it makes the light spread out a lot more, so not as many shadows.
Later that day, we took the train back to Williams, and the next day, I'm at Williams Junction. Here comes a westbound BNSF train passing Williams Junction. About 20 minutes later, an eastbound came down the hill with, I do have to say, a pretty nice sounding horn. After that train passed, a westbound BNSF train came around the corner. This train only had one unit leading, but sadly it didn't pass us, it stopped right short of the crossing to let another train pass. The train that we were waiting for was BNSF 7952. 7952 was an eastbound Q train bound for Chicago. 